Football fans have been descending on the Portuguese capital Lisbon for, as we said, that small matter of the Champions League final. It will be the very first time two sides from the same city are contesting the final. Supporters from both Madrid teams, Real and Atletico, have made the trek from Spain. Some of them on specially chartered trains. Now, Atletico are hoping to win a maiden Champions League crown and stop Real from adding a 10th European Cup title to their trophy collection. Rails fans are counting on one man in particular to help them end Atletico's dream of a double this season. Matt Ramsey has travelled to Lisbon and filed this report for us. Portugal's most famous son has just come home. Cristiano Ronaldo is in Lisbon for Real Madrid's Champions League final against Atletico Madrid. Another moment in the spotlight, another opportunity to inspire. Greatness on a football pitch always leads to responsibility off it. If you think Ronaldo is just a footballer, kicking a piece of plastic for millions of dollars, think again. Here in Portugal, he's an icon, an inspiration, moulding the minds of millions of youngsters. And it's not just Portuguese youngsters that Ronaldo inspires. His appeal is global and his actions impactful. I think he's learnt from the past as well, that he needs to be more of a team player now. This is where Ronaldo began his career as an 11-year-old, the Academy of Club Sporting Lisbon, himself following in the footsteps of the likes of Luis Figo and Deco. Ronaldo is an example for the, for the kids, for the fans, and he has his responsibilities, but he knows very well what he needs to do. Of course, there are a lot of pressure. The people look for us every time. He's, he's, he's responsible. Ronaldo was paid the equivalent of $12 a game as a ball boy here at the Sporting Lisbon Stadium. His first income from football. Today, he receives an estimated $45 million a year. Every young player in this city wants to be the next Ronaldo, an impossible dream. But to be like Ronaldo, that's an achievable goal. Lisbon-based journalist Tom Cundit wrote the book, A Journey Through Portuguese Football. He sees the Ronaldo effect firsthand. You see it everywhere. Everything that Ronaldo does is reflected in the, the kids, in their attitudes, in their haircuts, in what they wear, in how they act. He did have his critics about kind of perception that he was too arrogant. But uh, I think that's changed now and people just respect him for what he's done because he's got to where he is by hard work. As a boy, Ronaldo shot through the Sporting Lisbon club playing for the under-16s, under-17s, under-18s and the B team and then the first team all in one season before scoring twice on his debut. The most popular photo to be associated with at the Champions League fan park is this one, whether you play football or not. Matt Rumsey, Al Jazeera, Lisbon, Portugal.